Hi everyone, this is Cass from Cass's Creations and Boom Gel Stain. And today I wanted to show you uh, a hack, a Kmart hack. Um, for those of you who aren't in Australia, there, of course, you'd have um, so many other stores, budget stores, where you can get a, a vase or something like this and actually fab it up. So this is one of the Geopots. Um, it was only a few dollars, three dollars. So I'm just going to show you how easy it is. Now I'm out here. There we go. I hope that doesn't fall. All right, so I haven't done anything. I took the plastic wrapper off of that. Um, I just gave it a wipe down with a paper towel. Um, but that's it. So I'll use that in a moment. That's just to sit it on. Okay, so I'm using Boom Gel Stain. What I might do first is just rub a little bit around on the pot just because it is dark. Now that's drying quite quickly in some areas. It's quite breezy here today. Um, but it doesn't matter. I don't need for it to actually dry. So I've put that back down. Now into my plastic cup, I'm going to mix my colours. So I've got three colours I'm going to use today. My sterling wax white, which will go in first. Then um, I'm going to use some parrotfish green. That looks blue in the camera, but it's actually a really beautiful green colour. And then we've got a metallic silver, which I'll be using. Okay. So I really don't need much. So I've got a little bit of white in there. I might put a little bit more. Once I've put it in, I'll tell you probably approximately how much I've used. Because I know what these cups... Um, hold I've actually this level here where I'm pointing to oh, that's actually 70 mil so we'll be able to guesstimate how much we've got in there so I just thought this is a really nice color combination and we'll see how it goes together all right I think that'll actually be enough now I've probably got I'm just going to have a look I've got about 30 to 40 mils in this all right, I'm giving it a quick figure eight stir. That's it. I might just do one more. Okay. And now I want to show you how easy this is. So what side am I going to start with? What I might do is I might start from the top rim first. got some bits coming down the side I'm literally just going to pick them up so all this is going to do this won't be seen this is actually um, this will make it so that it actually flows down and it will look lovely way which I'll do now so I'm literally make sure you've got a clean working surface then you can just scrape it off and put it back on you then you're getting no wastage or if any it's very little okay so there we go I'll just cover that patch So what did I say? I used about 30 mils and I probably used, I don't know, 5 mils of the white beforehand. 
So we're talking 40 mils maximum and we've got a one of a kind unique piece of art really in the form of a geopop which even if you use the same colours you'd never be able to replicate it um, but you'll have such a stunning result So I really love this effect here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go along the edge and so that it looks tidy as well with my silver. If a bit drips inside, it doesn't matter. Okay. And I can always just wipe that up there. Okay. There we go. I just want to encourage it to run down to the inside a bit. All right. I'm just going to let a little bit run down here. Here. And there. So just then I've perhaps used two mils, if that. So we're still around the 40 mil mark. Now all I'm going to do is just ever so gently add a little bit of the green again. And let that work and like I said this is going to continue to change even though at the moment it looks out of place like a big drip it won't stay like that I promise it will change and you'll be wow so we will pop the result um, what I'll do is I'll take another I'll add some short a short clip to the end of this and it will actually show the finished result. Okay, so I'm just gonna go over the top of that green, just a dot, and here. Maybe there, that's it. So I could pick that up and move it around a little bit. I'm tempted to, I really am, but I don't want to mess up the inside trim right now. I'm just gonna pop that little bubble Another thing I can do is I can blow it around as well um, with a straw or my mouth. It really doesn't matter. But this honestly looks amazing. So you'll see very soon we'll have um, the finished picks on here and hopefully you'll be blown away. It really does look beautiful. All right. There's a couple of little bubbles. I am going to pop them. Sometimes I leave them there. Um, but I have found that if it dries rapidly, some of the bubbles have been staying. So I used to say, don't worry about the bubbles, don't pop them. But now I've changed my mind. There's another one there. <coughs> okay. I am actually going to give you just a quick look at some of the effects. So I know this is showing up blue in the camera. I've got no idea why. But I promise you, it's a, it's an emeraldy green colour, and with the silver and white, it just looks amazing. But if you're into blues, in the camera, it looks fantastic too. Okay, so there you go. But isn't that lovely? All right, so I'm going to sit it back down, and now just leave it to dry. I didn't mess up the top too bad. So I can do that. And like I said, it's not going to look out of place because it hasn't dried. So it'll just blend in all on its own, I assure you. And there's another little gap over here, I'll show you. Just here. Watch that a little bit more like that. that run down a bit and then here I'll just there 
There we go. Okay. Okay, guys, so here's the finished result of our geopot. So I'll just show you that there. So you can see I've got some runs inside. I can fix them up. Now, this is dry um, all over. It's a little bit tacky underneath where it was sitting. Um, so just here's some of the results, which I think are just amazing. Now, like I said, this is actually um, an emerald green colour, but it's coming up as blue. Regardless, it still looks great. It's um, with the sterling wax white and the metallic silver, and the results are just amazing. So, and I will flip it up a little bit so you can see more of the results here as well. But for three dollars, I got this and then fabbed it up, um, and now it's just a unique piece, you know one-of-a-kind piece so there you go so that's that one all right now I haven't sealed this yet I will probably because I didn't do any prepping to it beforehand I would recommend a spray sealer for this so I'll give this a few more days and then I will just give it a um, spray sealer that I'll get from our local hardware store and give it one or two coats okay thanks